Human societies have always needed to establish institutions to solve the conflicts that arise within them. The administration of justice, which guarantees respect for law, has taken a great many forms throughout history. As many forms as there have been sources of conflict. Water among them. Water, the source of life, can also be a source of conflicts. Because it is an elementary basis of life, but sometimes also a scarce resource, the regulation of its uses is as ancient as humankind. In the arid southeast of Spain, tribunals of irrigators have, for more than a millennium, guaranteed the peaceful use of water. In Murcia and Valencia, the chant of the Muezzin calling to prayer ceased to be heard centuries ago. But every Thursday, the voice of the Alguaciles, the water court's officers announcing the justice of the irrigators, is still heard. The Council of Good Men of the Huerta of Murcia and the Tribunal of Waters of the Vega of Valencia are made up of farmers. Since ages long past, their members have been elected democratically by the community of irrigators they represent. They are persons known for their honesty and their knowledge of the customs associated with their way of life. Their mission is to assure respect for the ordinances, the name given to the rules laid out by each community of irrigators. The Council of Good Men and the Tribunal of Waters give their judgments orally at a public hearing. The justice delivered is speedy, economical and fair. Each party makes its case. If needed, the members of the tribunal go out to inspect the site under dispute. The farmer judges hand down their sentence without delay. The verdicts, which cannot be appealed to ordinary courts, are obeyed above all because of their impartiality and the moral authority of those who issued them. Se ha convocado a esta sesión del Consejo de Buenos para examinar y dictar la demanda interpuesta por el hecho de haber construido una pared fundida de unos 30 metros aproximadamente encima de la tubería de riego sin guardar las distancias reglamentarias. ¿Se ratifica usted la demanda? ¿Qué tiene que decir sobre el particular? ¿Reconoce que ha hecho la pared? Por supuesto, yo reconozco que he hecho la pared. En mi descargo es de decir que el hecho de construir la pared... ¿Alguien más tiene que decir algo? Conforme en norma deben de salir, que el tribunal delibere y dicte la sentencia que corresponda. Yo creo que hay una cosa que está clara, hay una infracción manifiesta, hay consenso en la sentencia que se diste. El 
Consejo de Hombres Bueno, después de deliberar, ha dictado la siguiente sentencia. Condenar al demandado para que en el plazo de 15 días derribe la pared fundida construida ilegalmente, dejando libre y expedito el cauce y los tijeros según nuestras ordenanzas y costumbres de la Vuelta del Mundo, cuya sentencia es firme. These unique tribunals of justice, based solely on custom, are the only traditional tribunals that have become part of the Spanish judicial system. Both traditional tribunals have survived centuries of change because of their effective contribution to the peaceful functioning of the extensive and complex irrigation systems that irrigate the huertas, or agricultural lands of Murcia and Valencia. And they are effective because the justice they impart comes from the community. Both tribunals of irrigators incarnate the principles that govern the communities that support them. Principles of cooperation, respect, mutual assistance, shared access and sustainable use of a common good, water. These values constitute a living legacy of the society that constructed the Huertas of Murcia and Valencia, Al-Andalus, Muslim Spain. Waters derived from rivers and sent out through a main canal called Acequia Mayor or Acequia Madre served a variety of uses. A single but complex hydraulic system provided drinking water for humans and animals, irrigated harvests, drove water wheels and mills, fed tanneries and dye works, supplied public baths and permitted waste disposal for the communities. Once used, the water turned back to the natural streams, thus making possible a downstream reuse, contributing to the preservation of biodiversity. In the middle of the 13th century, the Christian conquerors of Al-Andalus maintained the prodigious and extensive cultural landscapes articulated by the networks of irrigation ditches, including their rules of operation. In Valencia, King James I of Aragon guaranteed that sharing of the waters of the irrigation systems should continue. Según que antigamente se fue establit y acostumbrado en temas de serraíns. In Murcia, King Alfonso X of Castile dictated that the post of judge supervisor of the irrigation network, heir of the Lord of Athequia of the Muslim era, should be maintained. Que hoy a los pleitos de las aguas cualquier hora y día con consejo de hombres buenos. Asatia. Along with the material basis, the new settlers inherited and maintained the intangible dimension of Muslim irrigation, including vocabulary, principles, and institutions like the water tribunals. Anawra. Asad. Sahib Asatia. This legacy was transferred centuries later by Spanish colonists to the American continent, where it was adopted as the model for irrigation system development and social organization. The traditional irrigators of Murcia and Valencia, conscious of the profound cultural as well as environmental significance of their way of life, which constitutes a symbol of identity for their communities, are fully committed to its safeguarding for the benefit of future generations. And they want the exemplary experience incarnated in the Council of Good Men and the Tribunal of Waters to contribute to turning intangible heritage into a bridge that will encourage dialogue, thus bringing individuals, communities, and cultures closer together. <laughs>